guys welcome back for today's video I'm going to oh girl it's already getting dirty I know there's already a million videos over this palette but this is gonna be video a million and one uh, today I am going to do I guess kind of like a tutorial using the new subculture palette because my experience with this palette was not that bad here's what the palette looks like as you can tell, the eyeshadows have been dipped into. I've actually used this about three times already and done three different looks. First time I used it, it was mm, no. The first time I used it, it not, did not go so well for me. And I was, I was actually thinking of returning it, but I said, you know what? Just get through this, Angela. Keep trying. Don't give up. Okay, the Modern Renaissance is the most used eyeshadow palette that I have. Clearly, you can see from how freaking disgusting it looks that I use it a lot. Look at it from the inside. I've hit pan on four eyeshadows because of, again, how often I use it. The formulas are different. There's no denying that. I'm from, I learned this from Raw Beauty Christie's video, which I had never thought about looking at this before. But if you look at the back, look at the ingredients listed for the eyeshadows on this one compared to the ingredients listed on this palette. Like there is like a huge definite difference in the ingredients. And Narvina also released a statement online saying that uh, the eyeshadows are different, they produce more kick up because they're more softly pressed. And that a little goes a long way. Okay, so to start out, I'm gonna take some concealer. My favorite full coverage concealer from the drugstore is a Maybelline Master Conceal. And I'm also using the L'Oreal sponge. It was on sale for $3, so I just thought I'd pick it up. The first color that I'm gonna go in with is the shade Dawn. It's just kind of like a neutral beige color. And yes, as you've seen, they do have a lot of kickback. So you don't want to be heavy handed whenever you're dipping your brush into the palette. If you dip your brush into the pan softly, you'll get the perfect amount of pigment on the brush. I personally have not had a problem with the eyeshadows blending patchy, or at least not with the shadows that I've used. And I'm using a Morphe M441. I do feel like the palette is having a lot of inconsistencies. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Roxy and kind of just use that right below that color. And I'm gonna go back in with that first brush to blend out the edges. Something that I have noticed though, with the shade Roxy and the shade Edge, they get darker as you blend them out. Cause see when you, you see how I'm placing it on my lid and it's like this really bright coral, but as I blend it out, it gets a little bit more muted. Okay, now actually with that same brush that I've been using, I'm gonna go in with the shade New Wave and put it right on the very Top of the shadow just to kind of add like that halo effect. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade All Star which is kind of like a muted burgundy and I might actually mix in a little bit of modern renaissance just because I want a brighter red and then what I like to do is whenever I want to start blending out the edges I'll go on the back of my wrist and I'll rub the brush just to get that excess shadow off. I'm gonna go in with the shade Red Ochre. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because I don't wanna keep messing with it. I'm gonna take my Lit Cosmetics Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and add that on my lid. I wanna have it more, almost like a spotlight eye. Keep the glitter in the middle and then just have it fade out. Okay, so I went ahead and added the glitter on the other eye and I did both of my eyebrows. Um, the colors that I used were pretty nice. I do have glitter all over my face though. That's my own fault from the last look that I did. So lately for foundation, what I've been using that's working really good for my skin is the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation mixed with the L'Oreal, um, oh, with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. This one's in the shade 45, 45 what? It's in the shade 45. Um, whenever it comes to drugstore foundations, I, the only foundation that is light but still golden is the Milani foundation. So 
If I want to use any other foundation, I always have to mix at least two. I'll get a tan shade that's golden, and then I'll get a light shade and mix them together because it'll have the yellow undertone, but it'll be mixing in a lighter foundation will make it light enough for me. And this one's in the shade 103. So I'm going to use that same uh, L'Oreal sponge and just start tapping this all over my face. my forehead I like to use the smallest amount of product just because I don't need coverage on my forehead and also I don't like to have my foundation all over my hairline so for under eye concealer I'm gonna take the Maybelline master conceal in the shade light medium and I'm gonna take it on the same sponge and dot it under my eyes For my lower lash line, I'm going to take a Morphe M433 and the shade New Wave. For my waterline, I'm going to take this Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow crayon. And now, finally, for lashes, I'm actually going to take these that I got off of the Wish app. Uh, what am I? friends I guess you could say on Twitter and Instagram her name is Monica and I'm gonna put her Instagram down below because y'all really really need to see the stuff that she posts on Instagram I mean it's honestly it's her talent is like blows me out of the water and she um, has mentioned several times that she buys eyelashes off the wish app and I bought these and they're really really long really pretty super dramatic just what I like so I'm gonna try them out and I believe these are like two dollars. Okay, so here's the finished look. Um, oh god. On my lips, I'm wearing the new Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Retro. It's like a deep chocolate brown. Oh, ugh. Don't get me started on brown lips. They're literally my favorite. Overall, I'd say this eyeshadow palette. I mean, it's okay. Modern Renaissance is like definitely way better so if you're gonna buy any palette buy a modern renaissance do not go for the subculture palette if you're a beginner do not go for the subculture palette I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and give you a close-up of what the finished look looks like That's everything for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, I need you to do me a favor and get behind the camera and like zoom in and out. And I'll tell you, zoom in, zoom out with by twisting the camera lens. Do it from the bottom. Put your hand underneath. Don't put your finger in front of the lens. <laughs> I'm gonna take the concealer. Oh, the Mimi's. I'm gonna take my concealer brush that I used. The concealer brush. I'm gonna do